Kill that fucking bastard! Yes, kill me. I don't think so. So, uh, I'm playing another virtual reality game. This one's called Artica 1. It's developed by the uh, developers of the uh, Metro series of games, 4A games, I believe. Um, very cool, cool game, very uh, AAA. Like, the production quality on, on this game is is probably right up there with the best it has been for VR to date. It's a, I'm, I'm assuming, a fully funded Oculus title. And uh, it's very cool. So this environment here is where I, it's like my hub where I come and decide to do missions. I can uh, do missions from here. There's a fairly long narrative for this game. It starts off, you get it, you get sort of shipped to this base, I think, which is in the Arctic somewhere. And normally there's a woman in here with me. That noise you can hear, I open the windows, can see outside. Very cool. There they go. The drones flying outside. We'll uh, let's have a peek. And so I've got a little bit of space around here. I can walk around in my room. Um, I don't have a very big VR space in my office, but I can walk over here. And like the, the materials on all this stuff is really awesome. It's super high quality. Uh, and what's cool too is in the levels you find the items. So like. Um, this LP I found in the level, and it, it plays here, I can turn this thing on and off. This little Pico projector thing, I picked that down and found it in one of the levels, taking the pictures. Now this is really cool, this is a harmonica, and it detects um, my voice when I'm when I'm talking through the microphone in the, in the VR headset. So I can play this thing by holding it here and breathing. Cool, that's clever. That reminds me of um, one of the Games on the uh, the original Nintendo DS, I think, had a feature that you blow into the microphone. Anyway, turn the lights off, turn it off. So we're um, I've played a few levels already. I can I'm up to this one. Uh, the game is structured in in such a way that you basically have all these individual levels that can be replayed multiple times with multiple objectives and achievements. And I'm doing this one now. Uh, we'll go play. Now it has a a um, teleport. Uh, locomotion system for VR like you can't walk around except within the confines of the area you're currently in but to move around the environment you basically look and when you see that guy um, I press a button and now I'm there I've teleported to this location a little stream of particles so this is a lift this can take me down to the armory um, looks like I pressed multiple buttons then I'm just not sure where I'm gonna go cue the elevator music Love these touch controllers. Woo! Thumbs up, pointing, relax, fists. Um, the main menu is actually accessed through your hand, so if I just raise my, my finger here, I can turn it on, and it's from here I can access um, you know, graphics options, sound, and uh, a few other things. I think there's some notifications you get from achievements in the game, a map. You can exit the game. Uh, yes, yeah, so I did. I went down to the floor. So this is where you come if you're going to do the mission. But before I go and do the mission, I'm going to go to the armory because that's really cool. Press these buttons. They don't do anything though. Anybody there? Anyone? Nope. Nope. Okay. So uh, another cool, f nice sort of meta structure thing to have in this game is you come here in the armory, and um, it's from here you can. Uh, upgrade your weapons and practice shooting and all that sort of stuff and they have this this computer here which is for um, it's actually attached to a uh, look behind you it's actually a, um, a 3d printer so um, I just made this gun recently this is a new oh that's the rift this thing allows you to play uh, virtual reality and virtual reality training missions if you put that on um, it's oculus obviously an oculus product this is a gun I just got and uh, I built that one. I think it's called this one, the Fresh Air or something like that. Um, here you can buy upgrades for it, or alternatively, uh, you can buy attachments. Um, I think all the attachments attach to all of the weapons, so there's these different attachments here I can choose. And uh, actually, what I will buy for the gun is uh this guy oh and a laser sight yes buy upgrade so i place the weapon in the printer and the printer starts printing while that's happening reach behind my head i can pull out my other guns now you see these have some pretty funky colors on them this gun is is, is a revolver so you load it by flicking it over and then flick it flick it back 
And this one, uh, shoot a few rounds, place it in your hip, reloads. He can detach all of these attachments. And you probably have guessed that with his spray canister, I can, uh, I can, I can spray them different colours, which is really cool. Really cool feature. It's pretty limited. It's not. There's not a lot you can do with it, but there are a number of different attachments you can get. Uh, there's two different, two different torches. I can turn that torch on and off. There's a bluish coloured one and an orange coloured one, um, and uh, this one has the, the blue or the orange one on it. Um, and uh, this has a different side on it. Little one that pops up um, and I've also had the laser side attached to this one so good stuff let's check this out so apparently this has a laser side on it it does have a laser side and while I'm at it let's make uh, let's try the hang on Tried that one, maybe haven't tried this one. Was this the weapon auto aim capability? Yeah, let's try that. Bye. And uh, that get manufactured in the machine. Um, I'll decide which guns I'm going to take with me. I haven't really tried this one yet, but I'm going to take I'm going to take this guy. I'll leave him over here because I tend to use this revolver. It has the best stopping power, I think. There we go. Um, pull this one out. Leave it there for now. Grab this when it's ready. It's all done. Cool. That looks pretty. That looks pretty awesome. It's got like a a uh, collimated sight in it. That's sweet. I might leave it all black like that. Oh, I'll leave that on my left hand side. This thing's like a laser gun. All right, we're ready to go. So let's go and do this mission. Why? Yeah, this is the first level. Look out. So, Bandits. hello, Mr. Bandit. Let's turn this light off because it's not really necessary. Off. This orange means it's it has low cover. He's dead. This guy here. Headshot. Yes, kill me. I don't think so. And yeah, you can use cover because it's VR, right? I can keep my head down. Now, orange means it's low cover, so it's, I'm exposed from that position. Let's do this. Oh, well, Look for oh, there any clues to determine the code. Three, three, eight, one. This is an easy one. All right. <coughs> it's cold in here. Funny enough, I've got my uh, my air conditioner event? cranked right Don't up just to make it really anymore. immersive. Yaga's move faster than you think. Watch yeah, out. Yaga, 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 Yaga. It wasn't that fast. I told you they were pretty awful. I'm picking up a lot of activity on the scanners. Probably more Yagas. Oh my god! Woohoo! Yeah! Good job. You made it look easy. Yeah. Okay. When you find the robot, or when it finds you, try to disable it by removing the batteries from its back. Be pretty badass. Whoa! I'm it still. Whoa. Then again, it might. Get Hello. Out of there. Boom. Where is he? Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Well, that's not doing anything. Have a bit of, a bit of this action. Pull, the pull his battery out. Great job. That's one. Oh great. Shoot its head to get back online. Boom boom. I like them apples. Yes, Woo! You did it. I'm going to run a remote diagnostic on it before I send some technicians in. Surprise! I'm coming after your family! Push it!
Hey. They're gonna get him! You're dead already! Yeah, you yeah, just got it! Take that big fella. Boom! Boom! Come on guys! Shoot the fire! Die you bastard! Well, I think I might wrap it up there. So I think a one is a pretty awesome VR game. And uh, if you know me and um, you'd like to come check it out, let me know and come over and try it out. Bye.